Hey there everybody, NecroVMX, and here's another update, and I guess it's going to be a good weekly thing, weekly update to my GameCube collection. I wanted to show you guys real quick, let me show you guys, look how big it's getting. The very first time I showed you my collection, it was only up to here, so all these are all new. I mean, you could see Fire Emblem, Luigi's Mansion, uh, Wario World, 1080, F-Zero GX, Wave Race, and Pikmin, all games that I've bought since I started... Not just getting GameCube games, but collecting them. I actually got four games this week. Pretty good haul. I spent a lot more than I usually do, but that's mostly because of the first game, Pikmin 2. Pikmin 2, I mentioned it in my last video, so I knew I was going to get this. It's $40, which seems a bit much for a used copy of a last-generation game. But... Pikmin 2 is rare, and it, I think GameStop knows that, and that's why they charge so much for games like Pikmin 2 or Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess or, you know, whatever. But I, I really wanted it, and this one, you know, like a lot of these games, I'm just getting them, and, you know, I'll play them, you know, when I get the urge to, but this is one that I actually really, really want to play. So, yeah, I'm waiting to beat the first Pikmin. I'm, like, near the end of it. I know you're saying, Necro, Pikmin's a short game. How have you not beating it by now. Because I'm fucking busy. I, I got so many fucking games and shit to play. I mean, uh, also I've been playing... the fuck is it? <laughs> I've been playing Punch-Out for the Wii. I wanted to hold it up, but... Uh, oh, it's all the way back there. Fuck that. Um, I've been playing... Oh, you know, I, I, I can show you the disc. <laughs> Punch-Out for the Wii is really fun. Uh, okay, so Pikmin 2... I, I kind of got, you know, raped on that, but um, I got good get deals on the rest of these games. Here, for $13, I got Sonic Gems Collection. Now, if you're not familiar with Sonic Gems Collection, let me show you. Um, over there is Sonic Mega Collection for GameCube, which had Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles with the lock-on technology and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. And um, a lot of people felt like where the hell were, you know, this game or that game, Sonic Gems Collection is kind of the, the, the treasure chest of rare games, according to the back of it. It features three games, and then there's um, a whole bunch of other games as bonuses. I mean, you got Sonic CD, which really should have been on the first collection. You got Knuckle, oh, I'm sorry, not Knuckle, uh, Sonic the Fighters, which um, is rare because it was only an arcade game, and Sonic R for the Sega Saturn, which is a, a on-foot racing game. There's also a bunch of Game Gear games on it, uh, Sonic 2, Sonic Spinball, uh, Triple Trouble, Sonic Drift 2, Tales of Sky Patrol, and Tales of Adventure. You'd actually get a lot of the Game Gear games for the Sonic Mega Collection, plus not the GameCube version, but the PlayStation 2 version. But, I get, you know, this is pretty cool. I, you know, a lot of people were like, okay, well, not, well, where's Knuckles Chaotix? And I remember reading an interview where the guy who puts this all together was like, well, that one controlled with the trackball and... No, it didn't. Shut up. You don't even know your own games. A control with a fucking 32X controller, you stupid. Uh, which is the same thing as a Genesis controller. You gotta hear a control with a trackball. You don't know what you're talking about. Um, speaking of, um, since I mentioned Sonic Mega Collection Plus for PlayStation 2, speaking of that, um, uh, PlayStation 2. There's a lot of games that are on GameCube that are also on PS2. And since I'm a collector now, I guess I gotta pick them up. So here I got, um... James Bond, 007, and Everything or Nothing, and I actually already have this one for PlayStation 2. I didn't mind uh, buying it again because, you know, collector, and also the fact that I got a good deal on it. I only paid $4, so that's pretty good. That's what Pikmin 2 should have been. Well, I mean, I can understand charging more for Pikmin 2, but, yeah. And lastly, for $10... I got Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, which is basically Mortal Kombat 5. I've played this one before, and it's a pretty good game. Um, I kind of, like, don't really play the Mortal Kombat games anymore. I was really into it when I was a kid, but now I look back and they're not really that good. Um, you know, everybody goes on and on about how great Mortal Kombat 2 is. And it was alright, I mean, it wasn't bad, but I think 4 was a lot better, because it was a little more variation, and the gameplay was a lot quicker and more uh, variable. You know, and everybody's like, oh, Mortal Kombat 4 sucked. I mean, what game were you playing? I don't know, Mortal Kombat 3 sucked. 
But uh, Deadly Alliance is pretty cool. So Now, one thing is notice is all these come in the in in inserts. Mortal Kombat for $10. I got an instruction manual. Sonic Gems Collection for $13. I got an instruction manual. Fucking shit. Cock. Uh, everything or Nothing. I didn't get an instruction manual. But it was $4, so what do you expect? Pikmin 2 for $40? I kind of expect to get one. I mean, that's alright. Because I, I already know how to play Pikmin. But as a collector, you kind of want to have the whole package. That's why I refuse to buy things in, you know, these kind of uh, cases. Don't worry, folks. This is a PlayStation 2 game. But, I mean, I really wish that I had it, you know, in the regular... Hi. In, in, in the regular cases. So, And if you go to GameStop, especially the one in the mall, I've, I've been going to the other one, the one that's not in the mall, because they have better selection, they have lower prices, and they don't have nearly as many GameCube games in those ridiculous stock cases. You go to the one in the mall, and it's like almost everything's in those cases, and I won't buy that. Um, funny thing is the one that's not in the mall, the one that I've been going to, they have like a million DS games in those cases, so you can't win. Speaking of DS, I almost picked up a copy of um, the new Fire Emblem game, mostly because Julie said that it's really, really good, and I do like Fire Emblem, but and it's it, it's a remake of the first game, which was already remade on the Super NES, but it never came here, you know? I didn't pick it up because I figured I was spent enough money already, and I'm already way behind on games. I mean, I haven't played all of these GameCube games that I've been buying. I, I've been, I mean, playing Wario World and Luigi's Mansion and Pikmin, but a lot of the other ones I haven't even touched. So, yeah, there's that. Well, I'll see you guys next week, hopefully, with more games.